today we are going to see a very very interesting place and a great story in fact there are two stories one we should let our children know uh, that we come from a land even a woman can be a great saint a woman who gave up everything many years ago in a small village called uh, udthadi in shimoga district the current shimoga district there lived a couple who were great devotees of lord shiva they had a little daughter named mahadevi right from a very young age mahadevi was a great devotee of lord shiva whom she used to dearly refer as chenna mallikarjuna in a very few years she grew up to become a beautiful lady but her desire to be with the lord was much much higher she made friends with animals birds flowers and the nature and started having no interactions with her own family and even with the people around her one day the king who was ruling at that time king kaushika saw mahadevi in deep devotion to lord shiva he fell in love with mahadevi and wanted to marry her mahadevi agreed to marry the king with conditions that uh, she would continue to be a great devotee of lord shiva and she would engage in debates and discussions with philosophers saints at that point of time even in the court king kaushika was in a very deep love so he just agreed to her terms without thinking after the marriage mahadevi never paid anything to her husband and was always busy in writing poems chanting praises of her favorite lord she got into a uh, active discussion with philosophers saints and was always engaged in uh, spiritual activity while the king had given his word earlier started challenging her beliefs and activities in the palace mahadevi then realized that palace is not the place for a devotion and renounced everything and walked out of the king's palace she went straight uh, to a school anubhava mantapa that is what it was called in those days of uh, you know people with highly knowledgeable saints philosophers uh, are mostly there and it was headed by saint allamma prabhu mahadevi was able to actively participate in debates philosophies that earned her respect from all the other philosophers she earned the title akka meaning elder sister by the philosophers at that time with Allamma Prabhu's guidance she wrote many poems or vachanas which is relevant and widely respected even today mostly in Karnataka to a larger extent in her last days of life she went into Sri Sailam in Andhra Pradesh and she almost spent her life in a cave in complete devotion to her lord Chennamallikarjuna Akka Mahadevi is said to have led her life with courage and faith in fact uh, when we were actually going here we were very surprised at seeing the site of the cave while it is beautiful it is extremely tough to travel to that particular place let me just tell you how we reach those caves there are two ways to reach these caves these caves are usually visited from pathala ganga there is a rope way at uh, the harita hotel near the entrance of pathala ganga which they offers tickets for both rides to the caves that needs to be in the morning at 9 am to a larger extent uh then there is a 16 km boat ride from pathala ganga pathala ganga is the place where uh, sri sailam mallikarjuna temple is situated it's very close by and it takes 1 hour to 1 hour 30 minutes of time after a ride uh, you would find very calm water to a larger extent and uh, the boat gets anchored near the caves tourists have to go approximately around 10 to 15 minutes of walking and there are you know pathways which has been done it's like climbing up the hill and akamma devi uh, is said to have done enough amount of uh, meditation in this place and you would find the vibrations another way of reaching akamma devi temple is through a 5 km long mud walk uh, which can be accessed from hyderabad and sri sailam uh, road and another interesting right while this is temple number 1 or this place number 1 let me talk about the other story right from akkama devi there is one more temple which uh, people normally go they stay in akkama devi temple at least or in this place in the night and they start walking there is a trekking which needs to be done from here which leads all the way to shri pada shri vallabha 
Mahasamasthanam, Sri Gurudeva Datta's, uh, I would say, the Paduka, which is there in the jungle. So people start in the early morning from Akama Devi to Swami Prakristan, which is like a six kilometer walking. Uh, it goes through Kardali Ban, uh, where um, Sri Swami Samartana were first sighted. And you would actually find the Guru Pataka over here. So people come here, take a dip in the Holy Krishna River and get the blessings of both Akama Devi and the Guru Deva as well. But few precautions to be taken. This place is totally interior. We have to travel into deep forest. Uh, it's going to be like animals will also be seen. So it is better to grow as a group with at least 15 to 20 members. Currently going in that uh, Sri Pada where the Guru, Guru Swami's, um, you know, Pada is there. There needs to be permission which needs to be taken right now. Previously, they were allowing it without any permission from the forest department. Uh, it is better to go on during the Kartika Purnami days to this place alone. As some Kannada devotees will go to this place on that date and they will in fact sleep there in that night. Some more into importance, Alama Prabhu, who was a great devotee of Lord Shiva, and Akama Devi's kind of a guru, did tapasya here and got salvation. Uh, after that, he was invited by Lord Basaveshwara and taught Shiva Dharmas to Veerashaivas. He was the one who advised Akama Devi to tapas in this place. He also did the tapas in the last few days and left her body. Narasimha Saraswati, the second incarnation of Guru Dattatreya Swami, he came here with his disciples and suddenly disappeared here to stop the activities of his uh, avatar at that time. After that, he appeared on Krishna river for uh, Navikas. Uh, from that time onwards, this place also became a holy place for Guru Dattatreya followers. Uh, this story is described even in the Guru Charitra. If anyone is reading in, please do read. Uh, one will surely get blessings, not just from the God, but getting blessings from the Guru is matters a lot. Please do go and visit into, into these two beautiful places when you are visiting Sri Salem next time. Uh, 